<laughs> um, welcome. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all you Sagittarians out there. And I really, really, really have to do this to all my um, Scottish and Irish and all my European friends. Happy holidays. Okay, um, this is so wonderful because I've had, you guys have been so supporting me and I love you guys. I'm sorry I can't answer all the messages, but I read it and I have like this smile on my face. And I love you, um, Scottish. You know, it is one of the um, it is one of the culture. And I, you know, you Scottish and Irish, you rock because you changed the face of history, and you are going down in history. And I love you guys so much. Really, really, really. Um, I love Scotland. Been there a couple times, and Ireland. And um, I want to say to you guys over there. Um, I'm just in the States for you, but I'll be back in Europe. But um, I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me and thank you for supporting my channel. It is Christmas. Okay. And for the people who celebrate Christmas, it's going to be wonderful because whoever you have, whoever and whatever that was going on with you in your life, it's just going to be clearing up. Um, the energy your financial situation is going to be balanced but okay let's look and see what it's going to be happening for you the year reading is coming up and I think year reading is a very beautiful reading for you guys and I want to say and another time I so love you guys I'm wishing that all your wishes and dream and this is for everyone all my subscribers all my new subscribers thank you so so much I'm ho hoping, hoping, hoping that you will stay. Um, I'm, you know, I'm really, really hoping that you will stay and continue to support this channel. Please like, share these videos, thumbs up. The year reading is about to come out, and then after the year reading, um, the month of January reading will come out. Okay. Um, I want to do a live thing, and I don't want to promise you guys, but I really want to do a live thing. I was thinking about. Um, the 26th so I'm not sure I'll try because the last time there was something with my my laptop I have a, a iMac and there was something it wasn't working properly so whatever that you know was happening I'm really really going to try and do a live session because I would really like to just reach out to you guys I think it's something just to say thank you to each and everyone that supported my channel okay you Sagittarian this is the week of water but the earth energies are here which is a zodiac energy the week begins from the 25th until the 31st and okay for some Europeans uh, um, especially for the Dutch I know you have first Christmas Day and second Christmas Day I think we are the only one in the world who have first Christmas Day and second Christmas Day we you know um, but anyway and for the rest of the world I want to say I'm hoping that your wishes and dreams will come true and please please you are the luckiest sign on this planet all you have to do is learn to manipulate the energies around you and you're you know you will never have anything to worry about okay another time I love you guys so much you have been so wonderful um, someone um, who has touched my life in so many beautiful ways is a Sagittarian and I um, I'll never forget that is my like my best friend now and you guys rock I love you Sagittarians okay let's look especially when you're working on the the higher energy vibration because when you're working on the lower energy vibration oh Lord but I still love you guys okay let's see what's going on for you in this week because you have a victory you have a huge victory the number four energies are here there's a lot of money 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 <laughs> oh my god you guys oh wow okay you said G um you have a victorious win over the King of Pentacles. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, it is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So you Sagittarians, what is happening here is that you have a huge 
um, win over this person whoever this person was um, they have cost you a lot and I mean like a lot so what happened now is that the universe has step in and whatever as a con uh, conforms because the energy vibration of the ace of uh, um, the ace of swords uh, and whatever this is because I'm feeling for some people it's a work situation and it is uh, um, for some women it is a divorce case and that sort of a thing but the ace of swords is the power the strength that you have the thinking the mentally the creativity and creative thinking on the hand on one hand it is you know as if it is the moon symbolizing represented spirits and the two Sun for um, you know being there to express yourself as the crowning indicates a wider and consciousness wisdom and sudden insight so this is you know absolutely brilliant this is one of my favorite card decks and I think I use it to heal the year and I want to say to each and every person out there know that whatever has transpired you need to forgive heal and move on okay this is someone who is older a and over the age of 25 um, 45 okay um, 40 45 on Monday um, we have your energy some of you men um, is in the reverse form whatever the situation is uh, the men over the age of 40 is in the reverse form whatever the situation is you're having financial situation or um, you're thinking about your um, the Queen of Pentacles so, Wow okay all right <laughs> sorry Okay, I was just thinking about it. This is my ex husband thinking about me. So, <laughs> this is just funny. Sorry. Okay, so, um, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I can be funny. I have a real funny side of me. I am actually always laughing about myself. People gossip about other people, and I'm always laughing about myself. Anyway, so, you, Sagittarius, men are not. Um, happy on Christmas Day because you're thinking about the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, all right. On a serious note, now, okay. All right. Okay, the Sagittarius men will not be comfortable with themselves on Christmas Day because they're missing the love of their lives. Who is. <laughs> The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, all right, but it's just funny. It's just funny because his girlfriend doesn't like me. But anyway, <laughs> all right, funny. All right, I'm serious. So, okay, whoever apart from my ex, so whoever um this uh, King of Wands is. And you're thinking about this Queen of Pentacles go back call her let her know how you're feeling because I'm sure she will take you back in a blink of an eye because you Sagittarius men and the Queen of Pentacles which is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I mean you guys you guys are a good partner your partner in business your partner in um, work life your partner in um, just about anything because um, the relationship is a very very positive it's a positive relationship so you know all you have to do is call her because you know your heart is and your heart will always be by her and her heart will be always be by you so whatever the situation is you Sagittarius men is feeling a little down because you're missing the Queen of Pentacles just call her let her know how you're feeling go visit her I mean okay you know uh, I, I understand that you know sometimes things doesn't work out and uh, sometimes it's not um, because of you too is because of other people and other energies that comes in and if you're missing someone I think Christmas Day is a good day to call them okay all right how no, no like that comes back up for me okay um whatever is going to be happening on Tuesday um, the energy vibration of disappointment is in the reverse and this is very good 
and um, wow the princess of Pentacles so whatever is that then this could be your daughter um, you um, Sagittarians that this person is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the ages of uh, 25 and 45 this could be your daughter and whatever the regrets is there's no more regrets it's Christmas and you're happy whatever has happened you know it has happened and you're looking forward and you're trying to make the best of it and this is very good because sometimes when our kids do things don't sit and dwell on it you know their kids everybody make mistake I make mistake you make mistake just give them you know it's okay whatever is happening in your life there's going to be a huge victorious win because you have the ace of sword and you have the energy of the chariot this is wonderful because whatsoever is happening whatsoever you're working on now it's going to be a huge huge success you have the energy of the eight of Pentacles this is going to be a huge success whatever you're working on now and know that you are going to be um, this is going to be good because whatever is happening this whatever you're working on what it wherever you are whatever you're doing in your life at this moment it's going to create something very positive and very good because remember again I say to you guys you are the most luckiest people on this planet and you're going to be seeing this happen and this is going to be wonderful so um, it, it's good because um, whatever that has transpired in your life you're going to become a huge success whatever you're starting whatever you're thinking about doing whatever you decide to do in this, this week go ahead and do it because it is going to be very very good eight of Pentacles is here so the eight of Pentacles infinity eight is infinity and you have twice eight eighty eight that means your financial abundance will be tender your intuition the um, I princess is here on Thursday which is very wonderful because the I princess is going to teach you how to make money okay the I princess is going to deliver information to you on Thursday and it's going to help you to understand and let you know how to make money because you know sometimes people think that making money is always finding a work in a huge corporation or organization you yourself can develop things that, um, that help other people that help you to survive and you know so if you have been looking for jobs looking for jobs just go back and think what is it that I like can I bake can I cook can I make meals drop them off and whatever it is but find something and do you know like this started out as a hobby now it is an, a phenomenon in the sense that I'm helping thousands of people because people really really um, wait for these readings and it was something what was just an hobby for me I remember I uh, I was in I, I was here or I was here on holiday with my mom and I was um, going through Barnes and Noble and I saw this card deck and I think oh mom I always think about um, doing this and I bought this card deck and from that I have so many card decks you will never imagine so um, I was intrigued it was just something that was very intriguing and um, people see it as whatever um, negative or witch or whatever I you know if you're not intelligent enough to understand certain things I can't explain it to you because you're just dumb and stupid okay because if you're gonna think a card deck is witchcraft and the rest of it no it is working with the intuition it's a tool to work with a spirit guide so you know people in church they think of this as the devil's work whatever it is I think you people are more the devil's work than um, a card deck because a card deck is very beautiful because if you look at this card deck and other decks how beautiful the heart work is and the way they pursued the image and this is what is going to happen so what I'm trying to say is that whoever you are out there and you're not receiving any work or so try to do your own thing because you're going to see that it's going to work out because the eye princess your intuitions and guides are going to come in on Thursday to give you ideas how you can start making money for yourself okay on Friday we have another hate so we have three times eight there's a lot of money coming in for you guys and this is why um, I said to you guys and if you look at one of my start video I said a lot of people think that only when money is in a reading you are receiving money but that's not true if you know how the cards are and if you understand how the cards are uh, 
um, because the cards are a tool money comes up in different ways and different forms because people um, like the earth sign people because they're very stable they are the the people who think financially and they will bring in um, good ideas to you and you will make money and the number eight because this is this is it and this is why I start giving people numbers is because everything we do have to do with numbers without a language and numbers we can all survive okay because as we get up we have to get up at a certain time we make our coffee at a certain time we have to drive how much kilometers or how much miles and that sort of a thing so mathematics is always going on and on so when you look at this reading a lot of people will think yeah so where is the money your reading is like you have the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is someone who you're going to learn something from okay the princess of but you have the king and the queen of pentacles you have the princess of pentacles you have the eight of pentacles twice and you have the eight of swords in the reverse the eight of swords in the reverse is whatever influence whatever that was standing in your way is now in reverse and there is now peace and you're finally seeing your way out okay so whatever um, you know and, and this energy um, normally the two of swords is uh, um, that you're not seeing clearly but this energy is that you're seeing clearly there's no blind fold there you're seeing clearly and finally peace comes and the the um, the people who were blocking because this is a block okay this is a block the nine of swords is a block okay influence this is a block the eight of swords is always influence okay seven of swords is, is, is stealing okay and this is always this is a block in somebody's life this is people who try to block you and the influence because you see when you turn it up like that it says influence and in, in this reverse form it's no longer there so what as whatever that was there the peace and whatever that was there it is now in the reverse form on Saturday a wonderful energy um, a wonderful energy you have the energy of uh, the Angman in the reverse form and the four of Pentacles so the Angman in the reverse form this is wonderful this is good and the four of Pentacles so whatever the situation is whatever that was happening for you this is going to be extremely wonderful because what you know what happened is that the energy of the Angman is there and the four of Pentacles is a wonderful positive energy because what it is saying the four of Pentacles is the four of earth and the four of earth it is a time when you're balancing out your financial is sun is the sun in Capricorn the four of Pentacles is the sun in Capricorn it's determination and strength to move forward so here you are finding the inner light on Saturday and finding the determination and strength to move forward and this is going to be good Sunday is a wonderful day Sunday is a day with a lover so there's a debt and transformation to the energy of the lovers and I want to know what is this debt and transformation to the energy of the lovers so let's see here what is happening there is um, a transformation with the energy of the lover there's a debt and transformation with the energy of the lover I don't know but it's gonna be good because the star comes out the star just flip out and comes out so um, you know so whatever is happening let me see what else is happening with the death and transformation the energy of the lover the energy of the star comes out so this is just a um, wonderful yeah um, it's gonna be good it's gonna be good whatever is happening it's gonna be um, extremely good so let's say that you had a situation with your partner um, you know um, if there was uh, you know conflicts and that sort of a thing um, there is an, an a situation that it's infused the energy because whenever and you know sometimes people have argument with each other and not aware that other people are sending them negative energy 
and um, this is what have an effect on their relationship and this is what is going to happen for a lot of people a new career part is possible you could also receive in recognition you deserve okay so this is going to be wonderful because the energy of the star is dreams fame encouragement repetition and moving forward so this is good the star is a lucky lucky card to receive a lot of people do not understand that but the star is always a lucky card to receive it indicates that your dreams um, will be coming true and you have for the future are coming all your dreams for the futures are coming true. it shows how well others respect you and whatever you are um, you're very famous at what you do even if it's just in your field this is a card of encouragement encouraging you to move forward in life and this is extremely good um, when the star comes up it has something to do with your skin okay because I, 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 I know that too because um, like sometimes I can't take clothes that is too tightly knit to my body and I have to wear like very soft clothes because I don't like it my skin I think Capricorn people have something with skin and bone okay all right you have the energy with a star and the number 18 and the star number 18 is famous friends and lucky friends and good news are coming from them famous friends and lucky friends good news are coming from them so um, this is good so whatever is happening with the transition with your uh, re relationship good news and famous friends um, positive news is coming from them so this is going to be good okay my god all right um you're reading this over 20 minutes you're sagittarians you always let me do this okay i love you guys so much so um let's see um what's the wisdom of the oracle because you're way over your minutes <laughs> time to take a nap and it's christmas week so you guys should really take a nap time to take a nap you sagittarians you have work hard the whole year and by working hard the whole year it is now time to take a nap and this this is going to be wonderful okay so i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back bye bye